Hey guys, welcome back to Larson Farms. Thanks for stopping in. It is uh, 1.49 a.m. Guess why? Guess why? Because we are planting, believe it or not. So, uh, we ran all day. The last video was yesterday. We were uh, out mudding around. Well, today it came and stuff really kind of turned around. We pushed some ground again. But uh, swamp the planters with tillage. Rain's forecasted for tomorrow morning. Don't know if it's going to happen or not. But uh, we're running all night. Dad is planting corn. Brody quit at midnight because he ran out of ground. But if you're planting, you need seed. And here I am. Got to go deliver him some seed. So he might need another hour before he needs it. But I'm going to get down to the field and uh, either sleep in the seat or sleep in the sleeper until he needs some because dad is going to be out of ground by the morning because we try not to work up more than he can plant before rain. So he's going to try to get everything done, sleep while the diggers are out digging more ground. So let's go see uh, what he's into. Another fun fact that you guys maybe don't need to know, but I've been kind of waiting around the shop, trying to do odds and ends job in the middle of the night, just because I know he needs fertilizer and seed, and if I go to sleep, I'm gonna feel more tired than I do if I just stay up. So I was pumping tires on a, another semi-trailer that we're gonna need eventually here shortly. So I can put that on my bucket list of things that I've done at two in the morning. Pump tires. truck that needs to have lights facing to the rear these are the lights for loading the planter but I gotta back across a county road get along the shoulder of the road so he can back up against this trailer load seed load fertilizer so that'll help but that's still not great So a large contributing factor to why we are going all night long is there was a major planter breakdown today. Uh, the cylinder snapped off of one of the main wheels because dad was backing into the mud and the strain was more than it could bear and it snapped off a bunch of bolts and we lost two and a half hours of planting. Two and a half hours of planting times 70 acres per hour is we'd probably be finishing this field right now so now we get to go all night long and i feel bad that dad has to keep going like i'd rather be the guy having to keep going and i offered to take over for him and he go home and sleep but tomorrow morning if this is the last field that's been prepped so tomorrow morning he'll be caught up he'll be able to go take a nap for a couple hours if it doesn't rain which of course like always they forecast the rain and then it dissipates so probably be farming tomorrow which is a very very good thing but it's making us work all night long with the threat of rain he's got a little bit to plant i'm gonna try to take a nap well i've never used our sleeper on our truck but we're gonna test it out tonight hope someone changed the sheets well guys it's gone from uh 2 30 to 5 30 dad kept going i was i passed out in the bunk turned the heater on because i got so doggone cold now i'm sweating he 
just called me. Get up. It's on the loaded. And it's sprinkling. I thought I was going to nap a little bit. Started the engine. Got the heat in there. And it was like I was only a little bear in there. Just sleeping. Slept all night. Nothing too bad. Should be able to roll today. Still waking up. I don't know how much you got down here, but I did not expect to fall asleep that hard. How is it going? Oh, hello! There we go. I'm focusing here. <laughs> Pardon me. Just catching up a little. Done 175 acres here? Yeah, 175. And you need 135 left and it's sprinkling. You think yeah, you're gonna keep going? I, we'll just go home. Yeah, I'm hard so. But I did manage to do 800 today for 10 o'clock yesterday morning till now, 5 o'clock this morning. <laughs> the next morning? What morning is it? Is it? the same day if you never go to bed? Well, when I document the field when it was planted, do I have to switch the date because it's past midnight? I suppose. I'm not doing it. <laughs> <laughs> well, looking at radar, we should be able to go back to the farm. Doug should be able to take a decent nap. Got uh, 135 acres left here out of 310. So he did a good number overnight. Looks like it wasn't a mistake. We're gonna get a break. But I think the diggers will be able to go out late morning. So wasn't a poor decision to do this. I'm gonna get back in my uh, nice little cocoon here. I woke up halfway through and I was so cold I didn't have the engine running that I uh, fired the truck up, turned the bunk heater on, which I have no idea if it works or not. I can verify now that it works very well. It was like a little cocoon back there. No blankets on the bed, just laid down on the bunk. Come on, Duggo, you need a nap. You earned it. You want to cuddle upstairs or are you going home? I'm going home. <laughs> no phone calls, nothing. It turns off everything. <laughs> hey, why is there mud under my feet again? Yeah. Huh? Well, it was muddy before it started raining. Well, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Maybe I'm not going home. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> Why is there no water? I don't want to ask. That's very concerning. That's a today problem. Is it kink toes? It's kink toes. It's got to be, right? Here we are. Trying to plant, no, the garden hose ain't working. Well, it's, what? It's a disaster. It's a disaster. <laughs> Just keep pulling out more. I'm sure it'll oh, cool. fix itself. <laughs> the hose is not even under pressure here. Well, what? Oh, somebody go shut the valve off? Is no. there a valve? It's on. Don't you think sleep's a little more important than a hose? I gotta wash my shoes off. I'm not going home with dirty boots. And now I'm very concerned that uh, what's going on? There's there's something bad. There's something. Something ain't right. Squirt it. <laughs> there is no pressure. See. Look at some dipstick. <laughs> That's oh, how I, tired we are. Yeah, the valve think. is shot off right there. How many valves you got there? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm sure you were thinking at the proper amount of uh, braid capacity oh, no, all night. I'm not even going to reel it up right. Look at this sloppy job. I'm going home. Give me the squirter thing. Gosh, I can't do that. <laughs> Just, 
nobody needs to see this. You guys all have a good night's sleep now. All right, guys, we're back up and going. It is 11 o'clock. Planter just left the yard, and uh, he needs seed. Dad's still in bed, but uh, he's waiting for another field to get prepped, so we'll just let him get it sleep because you never know, he might be going all night again. You never know. So, got the soybean tender here. I'm going to fill some fuel on the truck, and then we are going to get out there and get it positioned for him. So I'm gonna have to load C again. We got through a lot of our 99, no, 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 not 99 day. We abandoned 99 day, 95 day. Planted out a bunch yesterday. Or was that still today? It doesn't much matter, I guess. Whatever day, it, it don't matter. We're just going, we're just going. Brody needs more talc on that trailer, so I'm gonna get him loaded up. But regardless, things are kind of turning around besides that little spit, but there's dust now, so that's a good thing. So normally it's pretty straightforward. You go dig a field, you plant the field, you spray it, you spread it, and so on and so forth. But this year, I've spent a lot of time just drying out the fields, so that's, I guess, the game plan today. They're gonna try and work up some fields and uh, for beans and corn and I'm going to be drying out fields ahead of them again so dad should be getting the planter going here shortly and they're gonna try and stay ahead of them again it's hard to stay ahead of two 60-foot planters I'll tell you that much when the conditions are like they are this year so much time spent just prepping a field Tony's about to take off with the 58 footer, I gotta get seed loaded. Well, good morning. Yeah, I haven't been doing much of this. Been pretty hectic, mud fighting the mud like you wouldn't believe, but uh, last night was the night that we done the all nighter. Went home, got three, four hours sleep. Now we're trying to fix this up. The issue is one of my blinking lights that I had quit blinking. So, Sent Brody to town, got some new parts. That didn't fix the problem. Oh, well, here it is. Here's the problem. Mud. Yeah, the mud. Sticks on everything. Gets up in the, you know. And then it got up in here. Gauge wheel come up a little too high. Maybe something got in it. Everything is supposed to be zip tied safely up high, which it was. But for some reason, what happened happened. And maybe it, maybe they aren't. Maybe they aren't put on a safe spot. Whatever. So I gotta go back to farm and duct tape, splice it, cock it, fix it. We're never gonna finish by the date we need to. Okay, uh, I know you guys have been wondering why aren't we planting. Very seldom that we do not get started in the end of April, which it was the end of March. March! May! Yeah, it's May, Doug. Oh, it's been one of them very few uh, springs that I, I can't even think anymore because I am so whacked out. We had so much frost in the ground last year. I blame it all on the frost and then no sun this spring to warm up the ground. I think that sun is doing a lot more to this black soil than we ever could have imagined. It must just pull that frost up and out. No sun all spring or very little equals frost days in the ground. So the frost, if you can imagine, is frozen dirt. The top foot and a half thaws out because the temperature gets warm enough and it, it thaws out. Well, all that water then sits on top of the frozen dirt a foot and a half down and just sits there. And you can about imagine what that's like. It can't drive out there. The ground will not dry up. It, it's just, uh, you got to see it to believe it. 
and I'm rambling, but I know a lot of you guys don't even know what frost is, and well, we know what it is, and it is not a good thing. Although it does help break up the hard pan, that's a whole nother thing. But so that is why we are so late this year in planting. We are trying to run beans and corn at the same time, which you know that just adds more enjoyment. It keeps everybody on their tiptoes. So back to the furrow force. I love that stuff. I really do believe in it. But we got to figure out how to spread them this farther apart. I don't know how else you're going to do it, but to lengthen the whole the whole thing so that the rock does not get pinned in there. But I don't want no big four foot long tail sticking behind the planter neither. But so to all you engineers out there, good luck. I'm looking forward to how you're going to actually fix that situation. And I don't know, there's a few bearing issues there too, but overall, it's called farming. Nothing works good for very long, and there's fixing. So, if it was easy, everybody would do it, right? I just want to thank all of you guys uh, over the past year, or more than that, maybe, uh, that have been praying for our family and um, as I'm sure some of you don't know but one year ago today two days from now whatever you want to say but today Chet's wife Nicole was fighting her last few hours of life from the cancer that she had Nothing like a headland to get you regrouped into your thoughts. And, well, you know. So today was the day that the ambulance came and picked her up from their house. Took her to the local hospital where she was airlifted up to Fargo, North Dakota, where she never did regain consciousness. So she was up there for two days until they, yeah, you know. So thank you for all your thoughts and prayers. and. Can't imagine life without that. That would have been very brutal. So back to farming. Go see what Chet knows. irritating part is our 99 day and our 100 day is all sitting in front of the earlier day corn so we get to rearrange the whole shed now because that was supposed to be planted first while well, we had pulled the plug on it so now it's burying all the earlier day stuff well I'm gonna fuel up here go start hitting more wet spots try to stay ahead of the diggers more than I was the other day because then it's got time to dry out that was extremely short-lived Got to the end of the driveway and blew a code saying the alternator is junk. So now we emergency repair. Got grandma gonna go get some parts from Titan. So it's hot. It's really hot. Probably a good indication that it's ruined. Go get them, grandma. Put them in, put it in high gear. We got work to do. Grandma got this back to me, and I went and got a load of fertilizer for the planter, so it all kind of worked out very well. Not so bad of a breakdown. In theory, that should have fixed the problem. But it's also a tractor with lots of electronics that sometimes the code doesn't mean it's the actual issue. I also charged the battery up too, so it wasn't dead, but it's 
looking like it's not popping any codes, so that's good. Should turn into excellent planting conditions, huh? Heck of a 24 hours, huh? It smells like hog doo-doo here. Yeah, we're right next to a nice barn. See, Amy, Chet has got the big, what do you call that, GoPro? I can't even remember. I gotta go home and go bed. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed our 24 hours. Yeah. Night, Mom. Say goodnight to Mom. It's Amy. She <laughs> says love you. <laughs> See you guys next time.